The 2024 Land Rover Defender 130 Outbound might have a long name, but it's quickly becoming a favorite among three-row SUV enthusiasts. Despite the 13.4-inch increase in length compared to the 110 model, it doesn't offer additional seating capacity like the standard 130. However, for those seeking bigger adventures with more gear rather than more passengers, this is a significant advantage. As a daily driver, it also offers more spaciousness, boasting a flat cargo area similar in size to compact pickup trucks such as the Ford Maverick and Hyundai Santa Cruz, but with a more refined and enclosed presentation. Additionally, the outbound addresses some of the aesthetic concerns that were noted with the 2023 Defender 130. Pros High-quality interior designed to withstand rugged use. Expansive cargo space. Outstanding ride and handling. Cons Phone projection reliability concerns. Unexpected usability issues given the price range. Not everyone may appreciate the multi-purpose physical controls. Insights on the outbound. If the increased cargo space is appealing, the outbound offers a no-compromise solution for a more capable Defender. It retains the exceptional off-road capabilities and road manners of its predecessors while significantly increasing cargo volume behind the second row, from 35.8 cubic feet to 43.7 cubic feet. Aside from removing the extra seating and adding more tie-down points, there aren't many changes inside. However, the outbound's Goodyear Wrangler Duratrac all-terrain tires enhance the dynamic roof-carrying capacity to 370 pounds, a 150-pound improvement over Defenders equipped with all-season tires. With the optional Expedition roof rack installed, you can safely secure up to 291 pounds of gear on top. Despite the addition of the Goodyear tires, there's no negative impact on ride quality. Although both the standard adaptive air suspension and the Goodyear tires contribute to a smooth ride, the former is preferred for its ability to handle the weight of the SUV on the road. Braking from 60 miles per hour is achieved in 121 feet, placing it squarely between the two all-season options tested on other models. The 20-inch double five-spoke wheels and gloss black offer a more aggressive look that complements the Defender's rugged persona. Outbound is equipped with a powerful 3.0-liter turbocharged I-6 mild hybrid P400 engine, delivering 395 horsepower and 406 lbft of torque to all four wheels. It accelerates to 60 miles per hour in just 6.4 seconds and covers a quarter mile in 14.8 seconds at 94.6 miles per hour. These impressive figures align with its 7,450-pound gross vehicle weight capacity and 8,201-pound max towing capacity. Despite its rugged nature, the outbound's performance on our racetrack didn't quite match its straight-line prowess. However, compared to other P400, powered Defender 130s we've tested, it fared better. The addition of the $1,250 off-road package, featuring an upgraded rear differential and torque vectoring, enhanced its handling capabilities. Completing a lap in 28.7 seconds with a 0.59 G average and achieving a 0.71 G average around the skid pad, it was a significant improvement. Even after disabling stability and traction controls, we encountered an aggressive speed cut to 35 miles per hour during turns, a recurring issue across all defenders we've tested. Further investigation revealed the presence of a third, always-on system, Roll Stability Control RSC. This system monitors various parameters such as vehicle speed, lateral acceleration, steering input, and throttle input to prevent rollovers. However, its calibration doesn't adjust for factors like gross vehicle weight, passenger count, or roof load. The inclusion of the RSC ensures safety, particularly when carrying heavy loads such as the 370-pound rack and gear on the roof. While it may limit excitement during sudden maneuvers, it instills confidence when loading up the outbound for adventures. Whether it's tackling rugged terrain or simply stocking up at a warehouse shopping center, the RSC contributes to a secure driving experience in any situation. Options and add-ons Marketing materials often depict the outbound as an outfitted overlanding vehicle, complete with a roof rack, side-mounted storage bin, and ladder. However, these features don't come standard with the outbound's base price of $85,975. You have the choice to add the optional Explorer Pack, which includes the storage bin and roof rack, or the Adventure Pack with the bin for any Defender model. The latter is available as a separate accessory. 
It would have made sense to offer all three accessories as a bundled package for the outbound to streamline the ordering process. Navigating the accessories online can be cumbersome, as it directs you from the configurator to a separate catalog. The outbound we tested was priced at $96,140, including the ladder and storage bin, though installation charges are not accounted for in this total. The ladder can support up to 330 pounds and provides stable deployment. Even in rainy conditions, the ladder steps offer sufficient grip to prevent accidents. The storage bin accommodates roadside essentials like jumper cables or smaller jump packs and air compressors comfortably. While the mounted accessories serve the target audience well, they also mitigate the awkwardness of the vehicle's extension and large rear overhang of the 130 model. They fill a space that previously seemed vacant, without intruding into the driver's line of sight through the side view mirrors. High acclaim, minor gripes. There's little default about the outbound, as evidenced by the 2021 Defender 110P 400 SE being named Motor Trend 2021 SUV of the year upon its debut. However, there are still some minor issues that could be addressed. In previous models, Apple CarPlay was unreliable, and Bluetooth connections were sporadic. Switching to Android Auto didn't alleviate the reliability issue, though it did default back to Bluetooth and maintained music playback. On the other hand, Bluetooth connectivity was too persistent. Even after shutting down the outbound and walking away, our phone remained connected and attempted to reconnect during subsequent phone calls. While the hardware performs admirably, there's room for improvement in the software. While the next point may seem trivial, luxury vehicles in this price range often invite such critiques. In our case, the gas cap boasts a secure spot within the fuel door, preventing it from dangling against features like the $600 Carpathian gray paint on our vehicle. However, the tether falls short by about half an inch. Simply extending it would suffice. Addressing such easily fixable issues significantly enhances the perceived quality, which is otherwise commendable. Our editorial team holds divided opinions regarding the physical controls inside, a sentiment likely shared by many readers. Once deciphered, these controls prove simple, requiring minimal steps and functioning effectively. However, the temperature control, fan speed adjustment, seat heating, and drive mode selection all rely on the same rotary dials. While this design keeps the center console uncluttered and intuitive, it may not suit everyone's preferences. Nonetheless, we recommend giving them a fair chance, as we appreciate nearly every other aspect of the interior. Final Thoughts What sets the outbound apart from other Defender 130 models is the absence of a third row. There are no exclusive features to this model, and they all boast a similarly well-executed interior that exudes unexpected luxury despite the presence of plastic floors and robust materials. Achieving this balance is no easy feat while removing seats from other defenders with a third row isn't straightforward. The outbound offers unparalleled storage space, making it our top choice for off-road adventures. This model epitomizes the essence of the defender, both in performance and appearance. Thanks for watching. Please like Share and subscribe if you like videos like this. Thank you.